this is going to be a, a quick how-to guide on how to set up the Mansfield Relative Strength Indicator. So this is your indicator down here in Trading View. So there's a few different options for how to set up this indicator. So this current style that it loads with, with the background bars, background color panels, is the original style. You can you can turn off the background colors quite easily by going into the settings, just unticking background colors there, and then you can just have a much more simple relative strength line as you can see here with your zero line so simply when it's above the zero line it's outperforming the S&P 500 and when it's below it's underperforming the S&P 500 so when we're in stage two we want to see um, outperforming the S&P 500 and when we're in stage four we want to see it underperforming so it can be a really really good easy guide so the background colors if you need those can can be helpful as they not only tell you when it's positive or negative but we've also got some neutral color options in here so there's two neutral color options and basically they signify when the moving average is still rising or the moving average is still falling when it crosses above or below it so let me make it simpler for you here so if i go to if we turn off the zero line and then we go to inputs and untick original style here you can see this flicks to the unflattened version so this is my preference with it i prefer to to have it unflattened because the moving average gives you the slope of the moving average gives you an additional piece of information compared to the flattened version so the color bands are a way of showing that on the flattened version as well so that you don't have to have it set like this if you prefer the flattened version but if you don't want to have the colors showing then basically you can just turn those off in the settings just go style again untick background colors and it will show as this more simple version here with just the, the moving average rising above and the rs line so again if we go back to the settings let me just explain what these colors mean so we've got four color inputs here color zero to color three so you can see it's green blue gray and red so what they mean is when you're above the zero line, which is this rising 52 week moving average here, you're, it's on a positive. When it drops, when the relative strength line drops below the zero line, then it changes and the relative strength line, the zero line itself, the moving average is still rising, then it turns to this blue color. When it drops below and the moving average is falling, it's red, so it's negative. And when it moves above and the moving average is still falling, it goes to this gray color. So as I said, you can change these colors to whatever you like. So if you only want to see green and red, you can obviously get rid of the neutral colors and just make the, the blue, turn the blue to a red and turn the gray to the green. Or you can, if you only wanted to see, make these periods to be neutral, they could both be blue, could be orange. If you're on the when you're below and it could be blue when you're above, whatever you want to do, you can you can flick that about and change to your heart's content. So obviously most for me, I have it on this this core style. I have it set up like so with just showing the slope of the moving average. I like to visually see it. I don't really need the colors per se. And I think this this does it really nicely. But if you're much more visually inclined and you want to have the colors showing, then you can have the flattened version with the colors showing, which then tells you the slope of the moving average without having to see the slope of the moving average, which might be more useful if you're using this in multiple screens. As obviously a flattened version works much more clearly when you're in a when you're smaller screen size. So if you had four four screens shown, for example. But as I said, again, you can change these to your heart's content, the colors of the lines, the colors of the background colors, you can turn them on or off and have it set up however you like. So not really much more to it than that other than the actual RS score itself. So really useful thing with the Mansfield RS score is obviously it can tell you, it will tell you how strong a stock is within within a different group and when you're comparing stocks against each other. So for example, here we've got, this is square. So let's go to the the currently um, leading group, which is the solar group. So we've got EMPH, for example. Yes, yeah, so you can see at the moment, it's currently got a score of 70.33 on the weekly chart here. We compare this against some other stocks in the group. So for solar, see that's got a 65.16. So EMPH is outperforming for solar there. If you compare that against, we could do array. Ray's only got a 37.11% score here, so you can see that down here. 
or you can open your data window to the side here and it will show you in the data window on the right hand side so this is the fourth icon down and what else what's another one maxon maxn this one at the moment has a score of 81.62 so this is currently outperforming emph on a mansfield rs score basis so showing in the near term that this is outperforming as it's, it's had a really strong move over the last eight weeks i think over 150 percent or so whereas emph has only moved around 55 percent in that period but so it's another way that you can compare stocks against each other. Obviously, it's different if you use it on a daily time frame versus a, a weekly time frame. And you can also edit this to change what you're comparing against. So if you want to go a stock compared to each other, so at the moment you see the symbol up here. So for example, if we wanted to compare MAXN here against EMPH, so in the group we were doing a comparative analysis, so you could do that and then that gives you the Mansfield relative strength score of those two stocks versus each other. So you can see Maxon, MAXN is just starting to outperform 